Hi everyone, I know it's been a long time, sorry it's been school holidays here in Australia and um, the house is just not quiet during those times, but everyone's back at school so here I am. Uh, I made this for my son's girlfriend for Christmas, so um, the Instagram post is already up, uh, it's just that obviously my video is um, much much later, sorry. Uh, but anyway, so it's very self-explanatory, this one. It's a ceramic tray and I'm using alcohol inks with um, a bit of pinata brass because that always looks amazing. And uh, just all, all my usuals. Um, you know, I'm doing some tilting. I'm using my airbrush. I use my hair dryer heat tool. Um, a little bit of... Um, spritzing with the spray bottle for extra depth and layers and things like that uh, and it all comes together very nicely and sealed with a coat of resin which um, when you use resin on alcohol ink you still need to seal the inks with the Krylon Kmar because the resin is solvent based and uh, your inks will or can still um, run or bleed or uh, fade a little bit when they've been exposed to the to the resin so yeah just remember that you always still need to seal your alcohol inks no matter what you're doing with them um it just it protects them that little bit longer and um stops them from running and bleeding so enjoy uh one of the things actually that's probably a good thing to point out where you see me fussing there when you use alcohol inks on ceramic dishes that have ridges around them or a lip, um, the alcohol ink and isopropyl tend to climb up the edges a bit. Um, so you usually have to give that a tidy up because when it comes time to do the resin, uh, it's climbed up the side a bit too much and you'll end up having to use a lot of resin to uh, cover those, those sides. So try and keep it as low as you can um, so that when you pour your resin, it doesn't have to be a really thick, heavy coat. And um, uh, then you're on your way. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I get a little bit stuck up in the I know what I know kind of thing and probably don't mention things that you might be curious about. So please comment and I will get back to you if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.